Hi, I'm Chef Jason Wilson, and today I'm cooking with pheasant. We're doing an herb roasted pheasant breast with minted and lemon and asparagus and some pickled mushrooms. We're using oyster mushrooms today that we're gonna lightly pickle with some sugar, some pickling spices, apple juice, and vinegar. Uh, a little bit of lemon zest, mint, and asparagus that we're gonna compress and cook sous vide with asparagus to highlight its fantastic fresh flavors. And then herbs, chives, sage, thyme, rosemary, uh, a little bit of chopped parsley that are really gonna accentuate this wonderful flavor of the pheasant. And we'll be cooking it sous vide as well to make sure that it stays moist and yet crisp when we saute it. And this dish is one that's been greatly successful in our restaurant, Crush. And I think that using the sous vide supreme and obviously cooking with this gourmet cuisine at home, you too can be very successful. The first thing we want to do is make sure that our oven's been preheated to 146 Fahrenheit. Once you've done that, you can start cooking. So first we're going to pickle our mushrooms, adding a little bit of vinegar to a sauce pot on medium high with some sugar and a little bit of the apple juice. We're going to take some pickling spices with those oyster mushrooms. In a separate pan, we're going to take some extra virgin olive oil, start a saute at medium heat, add some fresh lemon zest, and some fresh mint. Just bring it to a small simmer. Season with a bit of salt. In that third pan, we're going to add some butter with some finely chopped shallots and some chicken stock. We're going to bring this to a small simmer as well at medium high heat and just whisk it around a little bit to incorporate all the flavors. We're adding in some chives, some sage, and fresh parsley. Herbs here being the key ingredient for our marinade. We're going to whisk it just slightly. This will produce a nice sauce for us. In our first pouch, we're going to pickle some of those, onion, those mushrooms. We've taken our simmered pickling liquid with the mushrooms. In our second pouch, we're going to take the fresh asparagus, toss it just slightly in that lovely mixture of lemon, mint, salt, and olive oil. Make sure that those flavors are incorporated well and that they've got a nice marinade around all those pieces. One key note here is you want to make sure the asparagus has an even layering through that pouch so that we don't not clumping up and bunching up inside, rather they have a, a really nice space in between. And that last pouch we're going to do is we're going to place the pheasant breast inside. And again, having even spacing here is going to be key to cooking it properly and to really fantastic flavoring And we're going to spoon in some of our marinade, which will eventually become the sauce for our final dish. It's a really great technique we can use with other ingredients as well. So the sous vide process really starts here. This is where we're going to put our ingredients under vacuum, uh, under pressure. And we're going to start out by vacuum sealing the pheasant because this is what we're going to be cooking the longest. And we'll vacuum seal our pheasant, again making sure that we have enough space between the breasts. You can see that marinade is wrapped around. Beautiful presentation already. And it drops into our 146 degree bath. And while we're here, obviously, we're going to continue. We're going to vacuum seal our pickled mushrooms. Now we're going to make sure that liquid's nice and snug inside there. Vacuum seal it tight. And this as well will be dropped into our bath because that temperature is going to do a nice cookery of the mushrooms and that pickling will really absorb into the mushrooms. So a really nice technique to quick pickle anything. And lastly, our asparagus. Note that we're, yeah, we are separating that asparagus so the marinade is really evenly distributed. And vacuum seal it nice and tight and compress that vegetable just to have fantastic fresh flavor. So 35 minutes later, I'm going to add the asparagus and remove the pheasant breast. 
and you can see that pheasant breast is fully cooked. And we've cooked this sous vide, locking in all the flavor and juices. I'm gonna open the pouch. Yeah, and I'm gonna loosen the pheasant up a little bit and pour those juices and that cooking liquid directly into a sauce pot. So we can then reduce it slightly, making a lovely sauce for the dish. I'm gonna remove that pheasant breast and add it to the frying pan. A little bit of olive oil. We're gonna add it in skin side down to crisp the skin, make a fantastic presentation and texture obviously with the skin as well. After 10 minutes of removing the asparagus, you can see its beautiful color, that mint and lemon. And we're just gonna go straight to plate now. Those spears make a beautiful color as backdrop to the pheasant and obviously any plate. Our oyster mushrooms are now out. Pickling spices still intact. And these beautiful piquant, lovely flavored mushrooms that garnish our dish. And remove that pheasant after a couple minutes of saute and you'll see the skin is very crisp. Nice golden brown, the herbs are on there as well. And I'm gonna cut it so that skin side is down so we have a really easy cut, not affecting the crispness of the skin. We can then present the interior of the pheasant breast as well. And this works equally well with chicken. There we have this beautiful texture in the center. Nice and juicy, nice golden brown skin. Great presentation. And meanwhile, that sauce pot, I'm simmering our, our cooking juices. And feel free to have fun with it now because we're presenting our, our dish to our guests. I'm gonna use some of the herbs that we're, so we're seasoning with, that we're cooking with, fresh sage. And just a little bit of garnish here. Now we're gonna finish the dish off with some of the sauce. It's just the cooking liquid that's been reduced slightly and you can see a beautiful color here. And a nice way to finish and add some of your own personality to that plate. So here you have it, the herb roasted pheasant breast. This has, uh, we've been sauteed it actually uh, with a little bit of uh, olive oil and this has produced a great caramelized skin which gives you great texture and flavor. Um, we've dialed in at 146 Fahrenheit. We've dialed in the moisture and texture with a pheasant but also added some very, very uh, wonderful flavors with the piquantness, the vinegar, uh, pickled mushrooms and asparagus. Give this a try at home, you're sure to enjoy it. You're gonna be having a lot of fun with the sous vide supreme and obviously the dishes that we're doing here. Thanks very much.